All right, I think I'm ready for the next episode. Hey, why are you so happy? What we know. You gotta see this. News for the generation of now. Content creator focused charity scandal bubbling over like a pot of pasta right now. It's only been a matter of weeks since the last one with the Completionist and the Open Hand Foundation with all the shenanigans that have been going on there for the last decade that got brought to light thanks to Carl Jobst and Mudahar spearheading all of that. Yeah, you know, while I was actually watching this video, I thought it would be crazy how if by chance companies called out streamers for taking money for certain things instead of streamers actually reporting on other streamers doing certain things. But we always have a streamer calling out a company. Soft giving for a couple of years now had been the go-to for charity fundraising streams that a lot of Twitch streamers have used. We're talking the Goliaths in the space. XQC, Hassan, OTK, the list goes on and on with people that have used soft giving to raise money from their community for a good cause. And there was a lot of really great events that were run that used soft giving, raised a lot of money for some amazing organizations. Please try again. And it all seemed like blue skies, smooth sailing, sunshine, and rainbows. And then about a year ago, I recalled there was a bit of shit flinging in the direction of soft giving, and I can't quite remember what it was about because it never really blew up, but... People these days. When I was first a data chip. Oh, sorry. I just wanted to say that this is crazy to think about. But just like with Critical said, if this company took this amount, isn't he and other company exposing them on taking funds for running promos? I mean, the money they received wasn't out of thin air. It was from the donations, right? I mean, if a company take this, which by the way is probably legal as long as they donate it all. Completionist. 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 Oh, sorry. Why would they not call out the people they worked with? And even the ones that knew about this through either email contact. But hey, just my opinions. Bart. But a brand new bombshell report came out from Jacob Wolf that blew the lid wide open on soft giving. And through the investigation found that roughly 42% of all the money that was raised from 2020 to 2021 actually went to soft giving instead of the charity that it was meant for. And they never prominently disclosed that to donors. That is an outrageous amount to be s it really is an ugly situation, uh, regardless of how you chalk it up, it's what charities are now. Um, most people know, like, the tons of videos that have been put out, by chance you want to donate money to charity, donate it directly to charity instead of- uh, I'm not asking, no. I wouldn't even personally donate it through a streamer to a charity, because again, the first thing I think of is, the streamer has to get paid. The nonprofit doesn't have the money to pay the streamer. So they're gonna pay them directly out of the donos. Not only that, uh, the bigger streamers are gonna want even more money. So they're gonna take even more money out of that for the dono. It's, it is what it is. Uh, I don't know why you're still donating. If by chance if there's any positive that comes from it, we both know eventually capitalism is what it is. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. Terrible, disgusting people I have ever heard of in my entire life. Take that money that they donated and transfer it to that organization. They would take it and basically just be this conduit for the money to flow through to the organization that the stream is supposed to support.